George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Quinquagesima, and what Lent is all about. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love what Higher Things is doing to pass on the faith to the next generation, to equip parents and pastors and youth leaders and congregations uh, by what we do uh, on these videos and in our on our website like subscribe ring the bell donate a tax deductible gift support.higherthings.org will help keep this ministry passing the faith to the next generation right off his nose uh, the gospel for Sunday we were preempted yesterday by Matthias. The Gospel for Sunday, and this is Shrove Tuesday, so this is going to be even more important for today, Mardi Gras. Um, and taking along, para labon, that means to uh, sort of pass on, passing on the tw to the twelve, he said to them, so he's traditioning the twelve, he's passing on the faith of the twelve. He says, see, we are going up to Jerusalem. Jerusalem is sort of like Texas. When I lived in Texas, you were always going up to Texas. You were go if you were going up to you could be coming from Minnesota and you were going to Texas, you were going up to Texas. Jerusalem's the same way, it's a city on a hill. You're always going up to Jerusalem. And everything having been written all things having been written concerning in through the law and the prophets concerning the son of man will be completed. Teleo, same word as telestai, la, it will be um, accomplished. Jesus says, it is finished. Here in Luke, he says, everything will be accomplished. Um, he will be, uh, <laughs> he will be handed over to uh, the, um, delivered over to the Gentiles ethnoi, the Gentiles, the nations, and will be mocked and spit upon and treated. Uh, uh, he will be shamed. Uh, I mean, it's just awful what's going to happen to him. And having been flogged, mastigated, um, he'll be killed. But after three days, he will ana, uh, oh, I love that Greek word, Anahistomy, anahistomy. It means, it means to be to stand up. He'll stand up, to raise from the dead is to stand up. You stand up out of your tomb. Stand up. But they understood none of these things. This hidden saying was hidden from them, and they did not grasp what was said. So we're only gonna do the first first part today. Lent is all about this. Bad throw. Lent is all about this. Lent is not all about what you're giving up. Lent is all not about your fast. Lent is a fast, but that's not what it's about. Lent is all about clearing your ears out, clearing your life out, so that you can have... Hey, Thor, you want this, buddy? You want this? Oh, for three. Lent is all about clearing your life out so that you can have more of this Jesus put into your ears so that he can have his way with you, to clear out all the things which block him being such a God as to save you. He's going to go up to Jerusalem and he's going to, and everything about him is going to be fulfilled. It is finished. That's what Lent is all about. He will be delivered over to the sinners and he'll be mocked and spit upon and treated shamefully. And they'll flog him. Romans do one or the other. They don't flog and crucify. Both will happen to him. And on the third day, he will rise again from the dead. Dude, you're asleep. Oh, he's tired. We're recording this video on a Sunday. He's a little pooped. That's what Lent is about. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Fix your eyes on the author and perfecter of your faith, who for the joy set before you endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. The gospel, the gospel, 
Jesus Christ came to save sinners. The gospel is what Lent is all about. The cross is what Lent is all about. Good Friday is what Lent is all about. And all of the things, the trappings of Lent, the fast of Lent, is meant to empty you of all of you who would think to save yourself by what you do and say and to fix and to empty your hands. And if you're carrying all this stuff, if you've got all this stuff in your hands and you've got all this, these things in your hands and you've got all this stuff, you're going to empty all, drop it all so that your eyes are fixed on Jesus. So that Christ is the center of your Lent. That's what the pre-Lent season is pushing us to. And today, Shrove Tuesday, is about that last bit of getting ready to do that. It's not about, let's see how much I can stuff my face and eat things that are not, I'm going to give up tomorrow so that I can have a, you know, I can like get most of the first week of Lent done. No! It's about somberly entering into a time in which your eyes will be fixed on Jesus. The joyful season of Lent. The joyful season of Lent. The merry season of Lent. Where Jesus puts in front of our faces his suffering and death. For you. For you. For you. That's the way you can read this, too. We're going to go up to Jerusalem for you. And everything written about the Son of Man and the prophets will be accomplished for you. He will be delivered over to the Gentiles for you. He will be mocked for you. He will be spit upon for you. He will be treated shamefully for you. They'll flog him for you. They'll kill him for you. And on the third day, he will rise from the dead for us and for our salvation. That's what this is all about. They don't get it. We don't get it. We have the benefit of knowing the end of the DVD. He's going to save us. So eyes on Jesus tomorrow as the season, the joyful season of Lent begins. Come let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before us endured the cross, scorning its shame sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. A blessed and happy Ash Wednesday tomorrow. Pastor George Borkart, and this has been the Higher Things video.